Now back to that major developing story. The entire city of Atlanta and most of South Fulton under a boil water advisory this evening because of this water main break. It's a major break on Georgia Tech's campus. You're seeing the video here. It's left most of that area without water for most of the afternoon and crews were still battling this hour. They're battling the weather. They're battling daylight to try to fix it. But here's a look at the areas now under the boil water advisory as we pull up the map for you here. This is until further notice. The areas you see here are under the boil water advisory. Uh, the advisory spans all the way down to the Fairburn area and also includes the Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. We have Shanu Hur joining us now live from his apartment in Shanu. You're also feeling the effects of this water main break. Any word from Atlanta Watershed Management? Yeah, Faith, uh, right now I am in my apartment near downtown Atlanta, and for most of the day uh, I've had no water, but recently I actually started to get a little bit of water. You can see uh, right here, just still getting a little water, not a whole lot of pressure, but that's better than for most of the day where I was getting no water at all. But if we go uh, alive right now to the Georgia Tech campus, this is what it looks like down there right now, and it seems like this has been what it's looked like down there most of the day. Still lots of water running in that area, and and when it was like this this morning and earlier today, many bystanders came around to see what was going on. It looks like a river flowing through the Georgia Tech campus, but this was all caused by a massive water main break Saturday at the intersection of First Drive and Hemp Hill Avenue. A large section of Atlanta has no water, including parts of South Fulton County. As the water covered parts of the campus, bystanders couldn't help but watch. When we first heard that there was a, a break, we put a bunch of water in a big pot and boiled it. Um, and so we at least have drinking water for a little while. Tom Hightower did what the Department of Watershed Management is urging people to do with the boil water advisory. But Katie Paisley says for her family, they'll have to head out of the city if the water doesn't come back. So we have children and we have to take care of them and clean them. And we might have uh, to stay with some friends who live in a different city tonight that has water. Yeah, and, and kind of reiterating your point of uh, faith on how big this is. Also included in the boil water advisory is uh, Hartsfield Jackson. A little water running out of your tap this evening, which I'm sure some people across the city do too. What are officials saying about using that water that's coming out right now? Well, based on information from officials, they say that even if you're using the water to just wash your hands or wash food, uh, even if you're just doing that, they do urge people to still boil water uh, before washing your hands or washing any produce with it. Uh, if it comes to washing hands, uh, officials also encourage you to use uh, hand sanitizer if you have that as well. All right, we know crews are facing a lot of challenges as they try to get this fixed, so we hopefully uh, we hope that they get that fixed really soon. Thank you so much, Janine.